So you're interested in installing Carbon on Linux? Well, today I will be showing you how to do this. One mention that I'll make is that Carbon is currently experimental and there's not much documentation for it currently because it's still under development and testing. So a lot of dev and testing going on. And these directions to install and build with Carbon tools may change frequently. So check out the comment section below to see what others are saying about the instruction. With that set aside, let's get into installing Carbon on Linux. So this is a brand new installation of Ubuntu 22.04. Doesn't really matter what Linux distribution you want to be installing this on. What we want is a terminal. So we can start setting things up. Inside the terminal, we wanna make sure we update our repos. So we can do that by doing sudo space apt space update. You'll be asked for a password for elevated privileges. Put that in and let the mirrors update. I'm gonna clear things out. And the next thing, I wanna install a couple packages which will be necessary in order to run Carbon. So I'm going to do sudo apt install curl and space git. You'll need both of these. Curl to get some stuff from the internet and git in order to do version control and clone down the source repository because we will be compiling things from source here. So after doing that, yes to continue. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is install another package manager, which Carbon is currently using in order to install things. So we need Homebrew, which I'll put a link in the description below so you can install this properly. And we'll do it by doing slash bin slash bash space dash C space quote dollar sign open parenthesis curl space dash F S S L type sensitive. So make sure you type that right. HTTPS colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash homebrew with a capital H slash install slash head all capital install dot sh close parenthesis and close quote. Then we'll press enter and this should start installing brew after you hit enter so you can continue. And you can see now that a bunch of objects are being downloaded and installed so we can use the homebrew package manager. This will take a few moments, so give it a bit to install and then we'll continue on. All right, when things are said and done, it says right here that we need to run these commands in our terminal to add homebrew to our path. So let's do this first, just copy and paste this section, press enter, that will add homebrew to our path and be able to use it from anywhere. And we can do this after that, paste it, press enter. And now we should install the dependencies that are needed by homebrew. So we're going to, again, copy this section, paste it in for build essential tools, give it a few moments. Looks like that's already pre-installed here on Ubuntu. So I'll move on to installing GCC since it's another recommendation. And that's actually using brew to install this one. Once brew has installed GCC for you, we'll need to install a few more dependencies of carbon, which is Python 3.9 or greater and pip. So we can do that by doing brew space install space Python at 3.9. Now it is Carbon's suggestion that you use brew to install Python. Otherwise, if it's already on your system, builds may fail, but it's a chance you can definitely take. So I'm going to press enter and start the install of Python 3.9. Give this a few minutes as it takes a bit to install. Once you have Python installed, let's make sure we have the latest of pip. So we'll use pip3 install dash capital U space pip, and that'll install and update pip for us. Make sure to smash that like button. We're almost done here, especially if you are enjoying learning how to install carbon today. Finally, we want one development library that's necessary to install for using carbon at the moment. So sudo apt install zlib1g-dev, press enter, give it a few moments. And I believe we're ready to now clone down the repo for the Carbon project. And now we're ready to install Carbon's build system called Basilisk or Basil for short. Let's do that using brew install B-A-Z-E-L-I-S-K. We'll also need Clang or LLVM, so do brew space install LLVM. Give it a few moments to install. We're getting close to cloning down Carbon's repository and actually building something in the language. Before we do, subscribe below for more Linux and programming videos. 
And if you're excited to start programming with Carbon, you wouldn't want to miss more content about Carbon. Okay, now we have to export a path again. So export space path, all capital, equals quote, dollar sign, open parenthesis, brew, space, dash, dash, prefix, space, LLVM, close parenthesis, slash, bin, colon, dollar sign, open curly brace, all capital path, close curly brace, and then close quote. So in order to copy and paste this in your system, I'll make sure to post a link in the description below where you can find these instructions on the carbon repo. I'm gonna press enter, let that happen. All right, great, time to clone down the repo. So make sure you're in the directory where you want to clone down carbon to. I'm gonna do git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash carbon dash language slash carbon dash lang and press enter. And then I'm gonna change directories into that newly cloned down carbon lang repo, cd carbon lang. And just do ls, you can notice that there's a bunch of information, scripts, and even test programs, which we'll execute now. So how do we do that? Well, you're gonna use Bazel, like I said before, to build things. So we're gonna do B-A-Z-E-L space run. We're gonna use their explorer to actually run things, space dash dash period for this current directory. Explorer, that's a folder inside of here. Test data, which is another folder inside of Explorer. Print, which is another folder inside of test data. And then format only dot carbon is the test program we want to run. Now, if everything has been successfully installed, Bazel will run and build this test program. And we should see some information across our screen if everything compiled and built correctly. All right, pressing enter. There's a few things happening here as Bazel gets built. And so long as we installed all the proper libraries and programming languages that are necessary by Carbon, Bazel should build just fine. Of course, this is because we're running everything from source code and things are experimental that we have to basically build from source the tools that are necessary to actually use Carbon. So this will probably take a while because there's a lot of build and fetching for mirrors, depending on how fast your internet connection is or how fast your computer is, times may vary but we're really getting close being able to use the carbon language on our system here. So give it a few moments to finish up. All right, and after about six minutes for me, things have finally built successfully, including Basil. And what we see here is build completed successfully 543 actions running a particular command, which is the Basil bin, and a build completed successfully with 543 total actions. And then finally, what we wanted to see, hello world, congratulations, you've officially ran your first carbon-based program. If you enjoyed the way this was presented, please smash that like button and let's see what we just ran. Let me make sure I have Vim on here, so I'm gonna just install that. And then we're gonna check out the program we just ran. All right, so the program was located here in Explorer, Test Data, Print, Format Only Carbon. So I'm just going to open this file and let's look through here some explanations up at the top but really it says so the main function there's a variable which seems to be s which is auto created to be hello world a string and then it prints that string and returns zero so that's really it if we want to run more test programs we sure can if we just use the basil run command again instead of running format only let me see what other ones we have here we have i 32.carbon. Let's try running that one instead. There we go. Printing one, result zero. We just ran another program. And then let's see what else we can do. Why not the associated constant.carbon? And there we go. I32 string result zero. Now you know how to check out the examples and how to run and build carbon projects. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another video.